the weekly rant for episode 109. This one's been getting me for a few days. I'll be honest with all of you. And the funny thing is, I actually agree with a lot of things coming out of this and, and, and kind of the education, the understanding. The problem I have with this situation that's going on right now, and I'm sure you've seen it in the news once I get into it, is we're always so ass backwards when it comes to things in this country, in the entire world, but especially in the United States of America. And what I'm talking about right now is the potential ban on flavored vaping products. You, you've seen it in the news. You know, the, the, the CDC came out and said, stop using vaping products, all this other stuff. We did have some deaths. I, I mean, it's terrible to say. Uh, it, it, and I feel for, for those families that have lost a loved one, four people have died uh, because of a lung disease that, that, that has apparently popped up because of vaping. Here's the thing. We don't really know for sure. Here are the, the facts. We don't really know for sure what is causing this. There have been illnesses that popped up. A few people have died. It's very unfortunate that people have died. We do know a little bit so far that some of these cases have been people purchasing third third party aftermarket cartridges, stuff that's not coming tested, it's not coming from a reputable company. So right there, we see one of the problems. One of the problems right there. People are purchasing things illegally. They're not purchasing from a reputable seller, from a company that's having things tested, from a company that knows what they're doing. That is number one. So as much as we don't know everything, we don't know a ton of things, we do know that. That has been the case. And sure, all of the cases of people falling ill have not necessarily been these these illegal, these third, third party, different market cartridges that are coming out and all that good stuff. I understand that. I understand that. And I understand that these things are unhealthy for you. I, I was a smoker for, oh Jesus Christ, I was a smoker. For the majority of my life, I was a regular smoker. Regular smoker. Here's the thing. The e-cigarettes, the vaporizing is the one thing that was able to help me quit real cigarettes. I quit real cigarettes over four years ago and every once in a while I'll have one when I'm hanging out with certain friends. Uh, but I, I don't smoke real cigarettes. You'll never catch me just sitting around by myself having a, real, uh, having a cigarette. I, I won't do it. I, it's just, it's not enticing to me. In fact, I have finally hit the point recently, and I, this has come up on weekly rants before, where I, I really don't even like the smell of cigarettes unless I'm in a situation where, you know, okay, we're out at a bar, we're at a concert or something. Okay, yeah, no, it should smell like like cigarettes here. This, that, that's part of the atmosphere that we're going into. But when it comes to just walking around there, I can't stand it. I don't want to smell it. I, 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 I have neighbors on either side of me that smoke, and I can't stand it. I just go right back in the house. If I, even if I'm working on the yard, whatever, right back in the house. So I get it that these are bad for you, but we've obviously seen benefits. I'm not going to sit here and say, well, it's safer than real cigarettes. I'm not, I'm not a doctor. I'm not. But I do know from my own personal experience and the experience of other people that it has helped with their smoking cessation. It has helped with their smoking cessation. And then on top of that, I've always said all along, all along, it's not something that kids should be picking up. It is a thing for smoking cessation. It's not a thing that even an adult should pick up. You shouldn't be a 35 year old person and be like, I think I'm going to start using this jewel just because it looks cool. It's not. It's not. Nicotine smoking, it's not cool. It's not fun. It's not good for you. It's unhealthy. And I think that's where we're running into these problems is people, they're not smokers and they're picking these things up and they're just going crazy on them. Whether it's kids, whether it's adults, whatever it might be. Their lungs aren't designed for that. My lungs were designed for that, being a smoker for 20 years. Literally 20 years. Smoking. So we, you need to, we need to look at that aspect of it. And like I said before, I don't disagree. They're bad. But do we ban all of them? Should we ban all of them? No. This is a knee-jerk reaction to everything that's happening. To these four deaths and these 450 or so people that have gotten sick from it. I don't have the numbers right in front of me, but how many people have been shot to death this year in mass shootings? In El Paso, it was more, it was 22, 23 people. That's one of the mass shootings and five times the amount of people that have died from, from vaping, from vaping. Again, I get it. It's not good for you, but here's the bottom line with all, with when, it, when you just boil it down to everything, boil it down to everything. And, and look at it even in a black, from a black and white perspective. We've had cases where people got sick and even died from cartridges, vaporizers that weren't tested. Basically, essentially, like you're buying it from, from a drug dealer, like you did back in the day. I mean, like you still do. I don't know. Do people still do heroin and stuff? Like you're buying it from a drug dealer. You don't know what you're getting. 
So by banning all of these flavored things, what do you think people are going to do? What do you think teenagers are going to do? What do you think adults are going to do? They are going to go buy those untested cartridges and vaporizers from third-party people and not know what the hell they're getting. And that's the bottom line on this. Do I agree that vaping is probably bad for you? Hell yes. You're putting things in your lungs that's, that's not oxygen. Yes, it's probably bad for you. But are we, is this an absolute knee-jerk reaction? 110%. How many mass shootings in the United States of America this year? And we do nothing about gun control. Four people die from, vapor, from vapes. Vapes, as the kids say. And we're, we're getting ready to ban them in the entire country. It's, my, it's mind-blowing how we prioritize things here in the United States of America. And, you know, I said bottom line is they're going to go get them third party and they're going to get like, like you're going to a drug dealer and everything else. We have never moved to ban tobacco cigarettes. Never has there been a move to ban those. Yet, we're so ass backwards as a country that we're looking to ban vaporizers. Uh, I would also say one more thing on that. I want to say, do some research before you just share things on social media. A lot of people can be triggered by these types of things. Don't just share willy-nilly because you see an article and you're like, oh my God. Do some research. Understand what you're sharing. That's of vital importance. If, if, if the entire world could just do start doing that a little bit, we'd be much better off on social platforms. Much, much, much better off. Uh, and the last thing I will tell you on that is I actually do still use a jewel on occasion and uh, I've hit a point, I've got a couple cartridges left and personally, I'm going to completely give it up. I'm, uh, as soon as those cartridges are done, I will be absolutely done with the jewel and I'm picking up some of those nicotine lozenges uh, to, to help with some cravings this weekend. Nonetheless, prioritize, let's think, and let's do better when it comes to spreading information and when it comes to protecting ourselves and our families and, and society as a whole, let's do better. That way I won't have to rant about these stupid things on a weekly basis.